Hello, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a quick power leveling start on Law Notes. I'd, I've got a few, well, I've got a couple of videos up on this, but every time I mention this or put it in a tips video, I'll get a comment about how there's better ways of doing it and I should go into Ultimate and all sorts. So what I'm going to do, I mean, I do that normally, but when, you, when you're giving tips out, it, sometimes it's best to keep it simple. So what I'll do here, I will show you, <laughs> right, Oh God, there's so many people are gonna comment on this. You're not a pro, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. This is this is how this is how people who know what they're doing do do this. And I'm I'm going to do my best to emulate. Okay. If it falls short of what you expect as a you know an, an Uber gamer as to how people should be doing this, remember all the tips and stuff I've been putting out so far have been for new players. This is for somebody who uh, has got a Let's just go in. I mean, it's got Crucible DLC to start with. You can't do this without Crucible DLC. Right, so what I've done, I've got one XP potion. You need to be revered on a character in Mammoth Resistance to be able to buy those things. And then you stick them in stash, other characters can use them. I've got that mandated Devil's Cross in because I'm going to go into Ultimate and I'm going to do some quests and stuff um, starting at level one eventually and that will help me immediately boost rep with them that's the savior's merit that's the thing when you've got a character that's reached forgotten gods area in ultimate you can go and buy that you can get an elite one you could do this with an elite one but it's not as good and if i did it with an elite one people would whine and moan and say you should do it with a, one of these you need that either in your inventory or in your stash or in your shared stash because the shrine I'm going to try and access, <laughs> I'll probably die, in Ultimate needs that. Now, I'm doing this in Hardcore not to show off, <clears throat> just to show what's possible. Because some of the stuff is a little bit iffy and you might die. So first thing to do is do that, right? Ultimate difficulty. Now, you don't want to level up, but that thing has given you four quest reward attribute points. Whack them into Physique because any... Any chance you've got of not dying is uh, <laughs> is good. You want to stay at level one for as long as humanly possible. Uh, you do not want to level up until you get to a particular point in ultimate. I'm going to grab that thing. Now, what I could do, I could run through there and get the cheapy cheapy notes uh, in, Deb in lower crossing, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to show you the ones, what we'll do first, we'll do the ones that are difficult first and most likely to kill you there's one at gates of necropolis actually yeah let's go there first because if this isn't there i'm going to restart the game and go back in just to prove what i'm talking about hug this hug this wall and get to here and have a look and see if anything spawned here because if it has it will one shot you right it hasn't so we're laughing so you go along to here go down there grab that and then immediately leg it to full icon now because you're level one there's no bad guys spawning here right so you're sorted for that it's the same on all the others you can go to Burwich village as well which is kind of it's kind of worth going there um sort of i'm going to try something out actually i haven't tried before now the other thing is if you needed to get stuff out of stash, you can go and get it now because obviously you can't get to the one in Devil's Crossing yet, but you can get to this one. Right, so that's those two. So I've got... Actually, I can read that now. It doesn't make any difference. Right, I've got those. I'm not going to read any of them yet because <clears throat> I don't want to level up. So I've got... I've grabbed one from Gates of Necropolis and I've got, grabbed one from Fort Icon. Now, there's nothing there. There's no law notes there. There's no law notes you could grab well there are some but I'm, we're going to get the easy ones because it's hardcore there's nothing there nothing there nothing there nothing there don't go to homestead nothing there nothing there nothing all around here none of this stuff we've got the one from there you can't get well you can but it's not a lot of point right Burwich outskirts <coughs> pick that one up search that body as well might as well right you can go to Burwich Village. Now, something I've not tried this before. I'm, what I'm going to try and do is, without dying... Oh, there's loads of them in there. Yes, yeah, so I, I was going to try and get that thing, but it doesn't matter. Forget that. 
Right, let's go to Warden's Lab. This is another one that you might have to quit out of the game quick if you're going to die. Look at those things, look, hang on. I'll get the furthest one first. If they start trying to attack me, I'm just going to have to quit. No, they, look at them, look, there's millions of them. Right, so I got that. Let's go back. I'm not entirely sure this is going to... They're a level 11, but I might be okay. I'm just going to, yeah, I'll just pause out. Let's just, hang on. This isn't part of the... Go on, that's it, sod off. Look at them. Oh, no, they know I'm there. Right, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Run. Ooh, okay. Right. Now, whether I can use that in Ultimate or not, I don't know. I might be able to. If I can, then that's brilliant. Right, let's go to... Let's do Barrow one first. Why not? So I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure those... Get that out of the way. Right, so you got... How many have you got here? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think those seven are the only kind of base game ones you can get. I mean, you can get others, but the XP on them is so trivial. It's the ones from Barrowhome, Coven and Forgotten Gods are the ones where you just make massive XP gains. It's not in this house, is it? No, it's in the next one. Yeah, get that one. Go on, kick the door out. There you go. I just like smashing that door. There's only two here. And there's two in the Covent Refuge as well that you need to go and get. Last ice on the left. There you go. Always remember that. Grab that. What does the future hold? Well, massive flipping level ups. Okay. Now what I'm doing, what you notice is I haven't got any leveling gear. Because I could have come in here with, with a low cast set. I could have come in here with all sorts. Leovinus rings a lot. But what you want is you want you want to see what's achievable with none of that stuff because then you know the actual bare minimum of what you're going to achieve and you'll probably achieve more because you'll you'll probably have well the leovinus rings are really easy to get explorers garments you probably had a bit of that drop if you've been playing for a while and if you've got well if you've got the low cost set the chances of you watching this to learn something the remote you're probably watching this to laugh at my fumbling attempts which is fine right now let's just see if I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What have I missed? I'm sure I've missed something. You can't get any from Rang there, you can't get any there. I got the two from there, I've got the two from there. Can't get any there. I've got the warden's laboratory. I've got the Burridge outskirts one. Yeah, I think that's it. Right, okay, let's try this. This 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 is the one where you probably die. This is the one where I probably have to quit the game. Because these things... Oh, look, he's right on it. Because they can shoot you. So you can get that, but look, he's right there. And if he shoots me, that's it for me at level one. Right, so... I mean, you could you could quit out and come back in and see if you've got a better spawn. That is not that's not a good spawn. I mean, I could try and bait them to chase me. You know, look, that's no. Watch me die now. Whoa, hang on. Yeah, look. Okay, so don't do that. Let's try that again. Let's have a look. Actually, let's go and see if I've got a better spawn on that because that is quite a good one to get if you can get it safely. Yeah, look, I reckon I... Oh, I can get it this time, I think. I'm going to have to quit straight out, though. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, you know, yeah, well, you're wasting time. No, I'm not, because ultimately I'm going to I'm gonna rock it up to level, I don't know, 20-odd in a few minutes eventually. And this, if you're in a mad rush, you know, do it your way. I'm just showing, showing you what you can get. Okay, so Vanguard of the Three is safe as houses you're not going to risk anything here well unless you go and stand in that green glop you go and stand in that green glop you'll die so don't do that right now there's another dot there's another dodgy one so i've got there's a dodgy one there a really safe one there there's a dodgy one here 
you can go and try and get. This again, this is all down to what the spawns are like. And I might have to just quit out of the game as soon as I grab this one. Because there's usually some just here. You can hug this wall and hope for the best. Oh, I think I'm safe. I'm reasonably, yeah, I'm right. Smash that vase and grab that one. So-and-so's letter to Gran or whatever it is. But it's nothing else. You just go down here and get the really easy ones. Right. A lot of people come here first and this is a, you know these are easy ones to grab and there'll be people who don't think i'm doing this the optimal way of running around that's fair enough it's up to you you go whatever way you want sometimes you get stuck going up those steps on here the voice no it's not voices visions of terror don't forget the one behind the door here it's the door there go through the door smash the vows smash everything web is spun sometimes there's if you're lucky there's a um not a one shot thing like a random what are they called hidden spoils or something it's not the not the not the one shot chest it's just like the halfway decent chest i think someone told me off because i referred to it as a halfway decent chest in another video and someone was like no no it's a one shot you know it's not a one shot chest they're very specific things, one-shot chests. Right, I should have 22 notes now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, what have I missed? Oh, God, I hate myself sometimes. Oh, I've missed something. What have I flipping missed? Maybe I could have grabbed a few more from Devil's Crossing. That's probably what it is. I've got all the important ones. Okay. So, level one... Um, Level one map it. I've got a bunch of law notes and I've got that. So what I do now, exit to main this is <laughs> now I go into ultimate. This is where I'll this is where I'll mess up and die. You can laugh. So and I'll just have to talk you through what I was really trying to do. Okay. So I'm in ultimate, I'm level one. What I've got to try and do is I've got to try and get to the burial cave without dying. It's barrel of ass. Right, let's grab this guy might have some armor I can wear with a bit of luck. Oh, he's got a flipping weapon, that's no good. I want some armour, mate. See, what you could do, you could put one of those um, things in that you know, actually, forget it. You could put one of those things in that you trade for money and go and buy some level zero armour. Look at these things, look. Let's see if I can get some stuff out of these boxes. No leather grips, that'll help a little bit, not much. No, it's not worth trying to get Francis's note. Ooh, look out. Get away from me, zombie. You don't want to kill anything running up here. You don't want to level up. I mean, if you... Let's see if I can get the thing out of here. Is there any... Yeah, look, that's fairly safe. I'll grab that. The other thing is you don't... You don't get more XP reading these things in Ultimate. That's not why I've come in here. If you read these law notes in Normal, you get exactly the same amount of XP from them as if you read them in Elite or Ultimate. Oh my god, I aggroed the boss. Well done. Um, no, I was going to go get those bugs. <laughs> I think that might be risking it a bit. Yeah, the reason I've come in here is what what your pros do, you see. They go in the burial cave at level one. And what that does is it sets the level scaling of the enemies in the burial cave. Get off my case, Muppet. I'll come back and do that quest in a minute. I'm not doing it now. That guy in the shack. So you've got to try and get up here without... Right, can I stop a minute and have a... Yeah, so you, the idea is you, you, collect, you collect all this stuff and then you go into the burial cave and the, the enemies in the burial cave, including the reanimator, they will, they will scale, their level will scale to what your level was when you entered. So I think he's, it's like, if you go in there at one, I think he's level seven, the reanimator. So what you do then is you drink your potion, get all your law notes read and that will level you up without any leveling gear on i'll probably get to level i don't know 14 15 whatever it was if i had the low car set on i'd probably get to level 17 if i had the explorer's kit and leovinus rings on i'd probably get to just over level 16 so yeah it's not a massive difference it's not like i'm going to be level three or something in there i'll be level level 14 or 15 probably i think it's 15 if i don't die pick all that up oh look at that lot look how many there are that's not funny is it there's flipping hundreds of them 
Have I got any... Right, it's Necker Health Potion Dane. Right, what you've got to worry about here is if the if the if there's things that are spawned on just don't walk any further in like go in and then just get ready to level up like there's no one there sometimes there's someone standing right here and they attack you straight away it's the right nightmare right watch this now right what am i 16. see i got to 16 without any leveling up gear on so if you've got your leveling up gear on You'd be a level or two higher than that. Well, halfway through 17. I think I think that's the thing. I think it's not, yeah. You know, I had, I had a discussion with someone in a comment thing about this, about how much difference there was, and they were saying there's loads of difference. I don't think there's much, to be honest. Um, right, so let's whack all that into physique. Doesn't really matter what um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Right, I've got to make sure I don't botch this up because you can't. No, oh, I could undo the point, so I botch it up. Right. So I want. How much have I got? 38. Can't do the maths. Right, where's my three summons? There they are. So if I max that out. Actually, I can max that out as well. Awesome. And. Let's get him as well. Nice. A bit of health. Right, sorted. So what I can do now, put spectral binding on. It's my health sorted out. If I go, where's my blight fiend? Where's my skellies? Right, get them up. I think I've got eight skeletons now, so I'll wait. There's no rush. I'm still telling me what level I am, level 16. Yeah, so old reanimator bloke. He should be level seven. We should be able to just let's make you aggressive. We should just go down there and completely whoop him. I think I've got eight of these things. Yeah, the other thing is when you come in here, make sure whatever class you choose, doesn't matter what class you choose, but make sure you don't gimp yourself. I mean, give yourself some skills that are actually going to get the job done. Because this, this is, although he's level seven, this is not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. Well, these things will probably rip him apart, but. I don't want to get one-shotted with this stupid eater stuff because look, I've still got garbage gear. Oh, what's that? Wanderers. Bonus to pets. Well, that was flipping lucky, wasn't it? I should have noticed that. Right. Kill. What level are they? Six. Yeah, see, look. Even though it's ultimate, they're like wusses. So they're just going to get hammered. Hopefully the reanimator won't kill me and they'll just my pets will just destroy him. Come on, boys, let's go. Get him, get him, get him. Get in there. Yeah. Have some of that, Kaiser. I can flip him up it. You don't know who you're messing with. Down you go. Huh, prat. Right, what have we got here? Might be something I can actually wear. Let's wear that. Got pets on it. Ooh, look at that thing. Right. Let's go and get that shrine. So what I was saying about that, you don't need you don't need that ether shard in your inventory, but you need it in your stash or your shared stash. You might get one from here. I mean, you might, but you probably won't. See, look, when you go to because it's ultimate, look, it needs a shard, not a crystal. There you go. Level up. I'm level up. Look at that. Look, look at me go. Right. So you could, I mean, you could run around. Killing a few more things in here, but there's not a lot of point. What we'll do now is we'll go back. I'll go and rescue that guy just to save a bit of time. I'll have to come back after. Actually, it's, um, what can I do here? There you go. That was a bit stupid because they all died, but don't worry about it. Right, come on, boys. Three of them should be enough. No, a blight fiend's taking them all out on his own. Let me have some of that. How many have I got now? Six. Okay. Kill, kill. Don't come after me. Yeah, I've got me eight up now. Right, sorted. Yeah, so you can talk to this claim. 
and then go back to town. Now, what I was, this is the thing that I'm not sure about. This thing here, the cultist orders that I picked up in normal. I'm just, I hope that I can do the Dereni quest, get a bit more XP. 23. In the meantime, I'll speak to him. Well, oh, what? A, oh well. Let's just pretend. So say, if I'd thought it through, I could have got the flipping five scrap. This is where I've cocked this up. If I got a five scrap out, have I got any at all? I've got one. If I'd got a five scrap out of uh, shared stash, I mean, I could go and do that, but I could talk to Gubbins here and get the XP for that. Twenty-four. Yeah. I mean, you can imagine what would have happened if. Yeah, I reckon I could talk. Oh, can I talk to Durani? I don't think I can talk to Durani. I think you have to pick it up in the. Greetings, child. That's a bit annoying. Twenty-five. I don't know. Maybe. It, well, this is the boat we just rescued from that house. See what else when I talk to Durani? Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So when you pick that up in normal. You can't use it in ultimate, which is a bit of a pain. Because if you if you're friendly and you've got a fabric from normal, you can do the fabric quest. We've got to be friendly. I'm not friendly. I'm almost friendly with them. So I could have brought some fabric in. If I brought the scrap and the fabric in, I'd be laughing. So yeah, I think if I brought the scrap and the fabric in, I'd probably be close to thirty now. So you could do that. I told you I'd cock it up and people could laugh at me. But yeah, so but. I mean, if you. Get those fire skellies, right? They love it. There you go. Fire skellies for the win. Um, yeah, so the the bit I missed out that, you sh that I should have done <laughs> was. I'm not going to just go and get some now because I made the mistake. I failed you, and and I'm admitting it. Oh, look at that! I'll distract you by sh shuffling my gear around. Yeah, so if I brought the scrap in, I could have talked to him. That would have got me up to friendly, and then if I brought the fabric in from normal, I'd be low getting the fabric. Yeah, I mean I could go back and do that now, but yeah, twenty. So I got to twenty six, just off law notes and completing a few quests in here. So that's, you know, that's how to do it if you want to do it. Like I said, it, I did that like a pro, not as a pro, because a pro wouldn't have forgotten the scrap and the fabric, or at least the scrap. So that was that. That's levelling up like a pro on law notes, doing it properly, <laughs> cocking it up as usual. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I will churn out another one soon. Hopefully something useful next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you all later.